A fast moving object the size of Manhattan is hurtling towards our solar system and it will make its closest pass to Earth on December 17th. The cosmos, in its infinite majesty, had chosen a moment to reveal a secret, not with the explosive grandeur of a supernova, but with a subtle, profound whisper within the heart of human ingenuity. What began as an astronomical observation of a supposed comet, an interstellar object designated 3I Atlas, racing through our solar system, quickly transmuted into something far more momentous. This narrative, initially framed by the observations of renowned scientists, rapidly transcended the boundaries of astronomy, plunging into the very bedrock of physics, philosophy, and our understanding of existence itself. At the core of this revelation stood the Atlas Detector at CERN, a monumental edifice of human endeavor. Conceived and constructed to probe the smallest, most elusive components of reality, Atlas was a colossal framework of sensors, magnets, and intricate computing systems. For years, its purpose had been to smash particles together at unimaginable energies, meticulously searching for faint hints of forces and phenomena that lay beyond the reach of human perception, patiently sifting through the debris of cosmic collisions for the slightest deviation from the known. Then, without warning, came the moment that changed everything. In a fleeting span of mere seconds, data scrolled across the control room monitors, displaying patterns so utterly alien to the expectations of physics that even the most seasoned researchers fell into a stunned, disbelieving silence. The 3 I event, as it was swiftly labeled, appeared in the system logs not as random noise or a transient anomaly, but as a distinct, coherent cosmic signature, a flash of information that hinted at intricate structures woven into the very fabric of the universe. This was no ordinary anomaly that could be dismissed as a miscalibration or a technical glitch. The sheer coherence and undeniable pattern of the signal left no room for doubt. The machine had captured something genuinely real, something unprecedented in its entire operational history. The Atlas collaboration, composed of thousands of scientists from dozens of nations, suddenly realized they had brushed against an edge of reality that humanity had never before approached, a threshold into dimensions previously unimagined. At its core, the three I event unveiled interactions that seemed to bypass the familiar scaffolding of known physics. Protons, accelerated to near light speeds, collided, and their remnants were meticulously captured in cascading showers of energy. However, instead of producing the expected chaotic distribution of particles, the detector recorded patterns that looked eerily ordered, as if some intelligence had deliberately shaped the outcome. Subatomic debris that, by all known laws, should have scattered into randomness, instead aligned along trajectories of improbable symmetry. A profound resonance bloomed within the data, sharp, undeniable, and utterly unambiguous. A spike that strongly suggested the presence of an unknown field intricately weaving through space-time itself. Physicists, accustomed to the inherent ambiguities of quantum mechanics, were left staring at plots that screamed of an underlying coherence, as though the universe had chosen that precise instant to reveal a fragment of its hidden blueprint, a glimpse into its deepest, most fundamental architecture. The implications, for anyone who grasped them, were staggeringly vast. For decades, the paramount dream of theoretical physics had been to discover a bridge between the seemingly disparate realms of the quantum world, where uncertainty reigned supreme, and the cosmic scale where gravity shaped the destiny of galaxies. The three I event did not merely hint at such a bridge. It seemed to point directly at its existence, a tangible connection across the universe's most extreme scales. Buried within the meticulously recorded measurements were ratios and values that corresponded to no known particles, no familiar forces. Yet, they possessed a peculiar harmony, a self-consistent elegance that echoed across different sensors as if obeying a deeper, yet undiscovered, law. Theorists who had dedicated their lives to abstract mathematics suddenly found themselves confronted with empirical evidence that equations long dismissed as mere curiosities might, in fact, describe the fundamental reality. The term terrifying began to circulate among the scientific community, not as an exaggeration, but as a sober acknowledgement that what Atlas had uncovered was not simply new. It was profoundly destabilizing, fundamentally challenging the very framework of reality. For the global public, the announcement sent profound ripples across every domain of thought and existence. The phrase, 
the entire world stopped, captured the essence of that collective pause as news anchors, philosophers, scientists, and ordinary individuals alike struggled to grasp the monumental implications for existence itself. Theories proliferated overnight, ranging from the mundane to the truly extraordinary. Some speculated that the three-eye signal was tangible evidence of hidden dimensions, a fleeting glimpse into spaces curled invisibly around us, waiting to be unraveled by human perception. Others suggested it might be the very first trace of contact with something truly alien, not necessarily extraterrestrial in the traditional sense, but an inherent, intelligent pattern woven into the fundamental physics of the universe itself. The most radical and perhaps most unsettling interpretation saw in this event the possibility that reality was not an accident of chaotic processes, but rather a meticulously structured, intentional, perhaps even conscious, design. The profound awe of this discovery was matched only by the sheer gravity of its potential consequences. If the three-eye event truly represented a new force or field, a fundamental element of reality previously unknown, then virtually every aspect of human technology could one day be reshaped by its harnessing. The very foundations of energy, matter, and communication, long understood, might shift into realms previously reserved for theoretical speculation or even science fiction. However, alongside the burgeoning sense of wonder, there was an undercurrent of fear. The same energies that had revealed this unprecedented anomaly also carried the potential to destabilize. Was the Atlas detector inadvertently tapping into phenomena better left undisturbed? Could probing deeper into these profound layers of reality unravel a delicate balance that allowed matter to exist in its current form? These pressing questions circulated not just within the sterile confines of laboratories, but echoed through the corridors of power, as global leaders recognized that human understanding might have outpaced human readiness for such a revelation. What made the discovery even more unsettling was the palpable sense of design embedded within the data. Natural processes, no matter how exotic, typically tend to scatter into statistical messiness, governed by probabilities and entropy. Yet, the patterns of the three-eye event bore distinct markers of precision, as though they were meticulously sculpted by rules far more deliberate than mere chance. Researchers pored over intricate graphs, meticulously tracing lines that converged with uncanny accuracy, noting how particle decay paths aligned into sequences that looked less like random noise and more like a carefully crafted code. Some whispered the forbidden analogy. It resembled communication. It was as though reality itself had spoken, articulating its message in the only language the Atlas detector could comprehend. Energy, momentum, symmetry. The timing of the discovery added another layer of weight to its significance. Humanity already stood at a profound crossroads, with rapid advancements in artificial intelligence, deep space exploration, and biotechnology reshaping the boundaries of possibility and challenging long-held ethical frameworks. Against this backdrop, the Atlas signal felt less like a scientific discovery and more like a cosmic intervention, a potent reminder that the deepest truths remained hidden, that the mysteries of the universe dwarfed even the boldest creations of human ingenuity. It forced a profound reflection on the very role of science itself. Was the mission of discovery merely to accumulate knowledge for its own sake? Or was it, perhaps, to prepare humanity for a truth so vast that it would fundamentally rewrite the meaning of existence, reshaping our understanding of everything we held dear? Within the scientific community, intense debates raged. Some argued passionately for extreme caution, urging a slow, deliberate, and meticulous approach to verifying the signal, advocating for its replication under countless different conditions to ensure every shred of data was beyond any doubt. Others pressed for immediate, aggressive exploration, convinced that any delay would risk losing the opportunity to fully capture what might be a fleeting, transient phenomenon. Yet, regardless of their philosophical stance, there was unanimous agreement on one crucial point. The three-eye event was unequivocally not an error. Its statistical significance far exceeded the thresholds used to confirm monumental discoveries like the Higgs boson. The machine had not lied. The universe had whispered, and humanity, for the first time, had truly heard. The cultural response to this revelation was as profound as the scientific one. Ancient myths and long-held philosophies were dredged up, 
meticulously re-examined in search of metaphors and frameworks to make sense of the discovery. Concepts of hidden realms, of an inherent cosmic order, of a divine architecture underlying reality, suddenly felt less like abstract superstition and more like prescient premonition. Artists, inspired by the intricate symmetry of the data, painted canvases that vibrated with newfound meaning. Musicians composed haunting pieces designed to echo its resonance, and writers filled pages with visions of a reality far deeper and stranger than anyone had ever dared to imagine. The collective pause, the sense of the world holding its breath, was not confined to academic laboratories or bustling newsrooms. It permeated every conversation, every quiet act of reflection. The unsettling part was not merely the discovery of something new, but the profound realization that this discovery blurred the formerly rigid line between science and inherent meaning. Physics, long regarded as the cold, objective domain of equations, suddenly found itself brushing against fundamental questions that had haunted humanity for millennia. If the universe carried such intricate structure at a fundamental level, was this structure accidental or intentional? Did the three-eye signal reveal not just a new force, but a profound message? And if it was a message, who or what was sending it? The true terror lay not solely in what might be done with this newfound knowledge, but in what it implied about humanity's actual place in the vast cosmos. The Atlas Collaboration, a global collective of thousands of scientists, found itself at the epicenter of a storm that was no longer purely academic. Governments demanded urgent briefings, philosophers demanded profound context, and the public demanded answers, demanding meaning. But the scientists themselves, despite their unparalleled expertise, could only admit to being as profoundly shaken as everyone else. For all their rigorous training, nothing had prepared them for data that suggested intentionality, a deliberate design, at the very root of physical law. They were, for the first time in human history, explorers in a territory where the map had yet to be drawn, where every step might reveal either a breathtaking vista or a perilous precipice. As the intricate details of the event spread, speculation naturally turned toward the possibility of repeating it. Could the precise conditions that produced the three-eye resonance be engineered again? Was it a singular, serendipitous occurrence, or a doorway that could be opened at will, granting humanity access to a fundamental layer of reality? The very thought sent profound shivers through those acutely aware of the monumental stakes. If it could be repeated, humanity might gain the very first tool to manipulate the most fundamental layers of reality itself. If it could not, then the event would forever remain a haunting glimpse, a tantalizing cosmic tease of knowledge forever withheld. Either way, the sense of living in an epical moment grew stronger with each passing day. What captivated many was the powerful imagery that the event evoked. The idea that in the heart of the Atlas detector, in that instant of collision, humanity had held a mirror up to reality and glimpsed its hidden scaffolding, the intricate underlying architecture of existence. The data plots, once mere scientific graphs, became icons studied like sacred texts, their lines and curves analyzed not only for their physical properties, but for their profound symbolism. The three-eye resonance did not belong to any single narrative. It disrupted all of them, forcing a confrontation with profound mystery that could not be owned or reduced to a singular, comforting interpretation. This disruption extended into education and human thought itself. For generations, science had taught that reality was reducible, molecules made of atoms, atoms made of particles, particles governed by fundamental forces. Each layer seemed to close a chapter, offering a sense of finality and comprehensive understanding. But the resonance reopened the book, suggesting that reduction was endless, that every answer led only to more, deeper questions. For students of physics and philosophy, this was both exhilarating in its potential and terrifying in its implications. The dream of a unified theory of everything now seemed both tantalizingly closer and infinitely further away. The resonance whispered that beginnings may be illusions, that existence itself may be timeless, an eternal dance of creation and transformation. The discovery also reshaped humanity's fundamental relationship to scale. People have always struggled to hold in mind both the immense scale of galaxies and the infinitesimal minuteness of particles. But the resonance uniquely bridged the two, 
suggesting that the same fundamental lattice operated across every conceivable level of existence. Suddenly, the human body itself, composed of countless particles, appeared as a direct, intricate expression of this cosmic structure. This realization carried a strange, almost unsettling intimacy. To touch one's own hand was to touch the lattice, to participate in the very same pattern that governed the formation of distant stars. The terror here was not one of alienation but of profound, inescapable intimacy. The recognition that the cosmos was not out there somewhere remote, but intimately present in every cell, every atom, every thought. To live after the resonance was to live with the profound, unsettling awareness that one was intricately woven into a fabric that extended infinitely outward into the cosmic void and infinitely inward into the subatomic depths. It was a complete redefinition of what it meant to exist, an encounter with the universe that transcended mere scientific observation, becoming a profound, undeniable experience that reshaped every facet of human understanding.